Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to do a quick video on what I bought, sold, kept, and returned over my break since last year. So stay tuned to see that whole extensive list. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content and hit the like button for this video if you wanna see more content like it. Okay, you guys, I've kind of hit on this quite a bit in the last videos that I have um, put out, and a lot of it is just revolving around minimalism, luxury collection minimalism, specifically when I'm talking about like Louis Vuitton and those pieces, um, and kind of my, my mindset shift on that. And I kind of wanted to dive into a little bit of that with you guys today and um, show you all the things that I purchased while I was gone. So this is just the things that I've purchased, sold, kept, or returned um, in the last so many months. There's so many things. There were so many things that were bought and sold and returned and kept and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I just kind of want to touch touch base on the luxury minimalism part of it again. And for me, in the last couple years, my, my priorities have just shifted. I have always said on this channel that um, I have these things and they're really nice and they're fun. And if I needed to sell them because something was happening and I needed the money, I would. And I think I always said that, but like deep down I was like, oh, but please God, don't let anything happen. I really don't wanna get rid of these things. I noticed that when we would um, go out of town, gosh, a couple times we've been out of town and we've gotten um, alerts that, you know, our house alarm went off and it was always a false alarm. But in those moments I was like, ah, my curses. And I didn't think, oh, my husband, my dogs, because they were with me. And those are truly the most important things to me. And that also helped me realize that, like, these things are just things. They're replaceable. These people and these precious dogs in my life, like, my family is irreplaceable to me. So it just, it was a huge mind shift for me in this last couple of years. I still love luxury. I think it's beautiful. I still peruse sites. I don't peruse it with the same intent anymore. So now I'm looking at it just to see kind of what the pricing is doing. I'm looking at it to see if there's anything new out there, but typically I'm looking at the pre-loved market because I want to see the best, if I'm going to get something, I want the best deal for the least amount of money. Um, but I also think that that's a good way to get a feel for like a whole, a well-rounded vision of the luxury world um because you can also like on fashion file and rebag you can narrow it down to like i'm looking for a black bag that's leather that is louis vuitton go i'm looking for a canvas bag that is louis vuitton that is this. i'm looking for a chanel bag that's bright yellow and is the reissue when it came out during the, like you can narrow all these things down i'm looking for cross -body. anyway i could go on and on but you can like narrow your search so much in that and get a like broad look at even just like you can look at chanel and louis vuitton and all that like looking for a yellow purse Boom, there you go. I'm looking for a yellow crossbody purge. You can find it on there. So I just, I still like looking at that. The only thing in my collection that I feel that I would kind of want something else for is uh, like a small black crossbody bag. I've already released my updated luxury collection. I'm just not in a hurry to get anything because I wanna make sure it's something that I will actually love. So with all of that said, let me tell you what I kind of bought um, I think all of these things were through Fashion File. Um, some of them I bought, I kept, and I ended up selling back to them or to a pre-loved somebody. Um, or there were quite a few that I ended up purchasing, receiving, being super disappointed, and canceling. And so I just sent it back. Um, I never took the tags off. Or there were the ones that I kept and that are still in my collection. So let's go through that list. So the uh, Tory Burch Kira Tweed Convertible Strap Small is this one right here. And that's one that I actually did end up releasing that video just, you know, a couple months ago. Um, but I did purchase that at the very beginning, like right before I went on YouTube break. And that is one that I've kept. I actually had that one and a brown one. I almost kept them both. And the more, because the brown one was beautiful, but I was looking at the brown one and I was like, ah have brown purses. I didn't have that one yet, but I had a lot of brown purses at that point. That's what Louis Vuitton like is known for. <laughs> so uh, I ended up selling, the, sending the brown one back, but keeping this multicolored one, which I think is gorgeous. Um, I actually ended up selling the Hermes Epson Calvi card holder in gold. And that was just because I had a whole bunch of SLGs that kind of already did that. And I really was not impressed with the um, Epson leather 
just not impressive to me. It felt really cheap, like something you could get at Target. The Louis Vuitton Dami Azure Alexandra wallet, I ended up purchasing and keeping against my like inner knowing that it wasn't for me and my gut was telling me and I ended up selling it back. I ended up keeping my Louis Vuitton Damier Azure Neverfull MM, so I purchased that and ended up keeping it. Um, my, I sold my Louis Vuitton Damier Eben Alma BB, which you guys never even saw me purchase and uh, unbox or anything, but I did end up selling that back. I got the, this is one of my favorite purchases, Louis Vuitton Mono Taiga Coin Card Holder. Um, I think, so. I still have that one. I think it is so gorgeous. I think this is a cobalt blue. I think it's awesome. It has so many features and so many good things that I'll, I'll do a video about this one because this one is totally worth the money. I think it's from the men's collection actually. Balenciaga Calfskin Extra Extra Small Everyday Tote in Black. I purchased that and I ended up selling it back. I did carry it for a little bit. Um, it really didn't, I didn't have any wear or tear on it. It wasn't because of that. I didn't like the open top to it. The Louis Vuitton Emprunt Twice and Dahlia. I'll put a picture here. Um, I ended up canceling that one. So I received it. And when I got it, again, it was kind of, I was looking for that perfect like reddish pink color um, of a smaller-ish bag. And when I got it, I looked at it and I was like, man, this is gorgeous. I actually kept it in the box with the tag on for a couple weeks debating it. And I ended up sending it back because to me, if you open that purchase from fashion file and you get it and you look at it and you're like this is not what I wanted but I'm gonna try and make it work like it's not gonna work it has not worked out for me yet when I felt that um and looking back I can see that but I ended up sending that one back it was gorgeous what I really would have wanted that one in if I was gonna keep it was the black but I really like the noir uh, emprunt black because that leather is just so gorgeous but everything that I read every video I watch uh, every used one that I saw on Fashion File, the corner wear was terrible. And I just, I, I'm just, I'm not going to be happy with that. So I ended up sending that one back. So we'll call that canceled because that's what they call it on Fashion File. When you purchase and then send something back without taking the tags off, they call it canceling it. Um, the <laughs> Louis Vuitton Mono Nano Speedy. <laughs> yep, I purchased one. Did I purchase two? No, I just purchased one. I purchased one and I got it and I got it out of the bag and my husband laughed. He was like, is that a joke? Is that a joke bag? Like, do not, please don't carry that. And I wanted so badly to love this purse as well. But again, deep down, I was like, he's right. Like this is a joke bag. Never took the tag off. I canceled it and sent it back. The Louis Vuitton Emprunt Speedy B20 and the new model in the color Raisin. Obviously, I kept this one. This is a gorgeous bag. I absolutely love this one. The detail of it is so awesome. I haven't done a video on it yet, but it is just like, mm, it's perfection. The Louis Vuitton Voyage MM pouch. So it's a computer pouch with the fuchsia interior, the monogram with the fuchsia. This is kind of the medium size. I think there's a small and then like a like a GM, a giant one. Um, love this. I absolutely love this for travel. It's perfect for what I need it for. Louis Vuitton monogram mini push-up accessories. Accessoire? <laughs> accessories. Mini push-up accessories. I love this thing. I'm actually carrying it in my purse right now. You can see I'm carrying quite a bit in there. Kind of those little catch-all things that if they were to spill, I wouldn't want them to spill like, let's say, in this bag. So I carried in this which is awesome. Love it. I've obviously kept that. Um, the Louis Vuitton Emprunt Speedy B20, the in black. So the same as that one, I ended up purchasing it and then selling it. That one was kind of sad too. I miss it, but I just had too many speedies. And that was another reason I sold it. So I just had like too many speedies, too much repetitiveness. So this next piece is probably one of my absolute favorite purchases that I made. I did not see this coming. This is the Louis Vuitton Emprunt business card holder in black. I carry this as my wallet. So this one I'm carrying and it has like gift cards and just like random cards in there, uh, membership cards, all that. This one is my wallet. So I just love how compact this fits in my hand. There's no weird folds or anything. Anyway, it comes and it has these two spots. So there's a spot here and a spot here and I carry all my cards, any cash, anything like that in here. It's perfect. I absolutely love this piece. These two were such a disappointment. I knew they weren't going to work for me, but I just had to purchase them and hold them in my hands 
to see for myself. So the Chanel Caviar Quilted Wallet on Chain in the dark green. This purse is gorgeous. When I got it in person, even my husband was like, that's not green, that looks black, it looks black. In the pictures, it looked green. In sunlight, it looked green. Anywhere else, it looked just black. But I've been wanting like a hunter green purse as well. Don't ask me why. I ended up sending that one back. And at the same time that I purchased that one, I also purchased same package, um, the Chanel calfskin quilted double stitch Hamptons clutch with chain and it was in black and this one didn't work I ended up sending both of these back I didn't take the tags off of either of them and I'm sending both of them back because they the um, Hampton clutch it was the hardware was loose so it would never actually like I don't know what you call it lock it would never actually close and the wallet on chain as much as I tried to make it work with like using card holders, like using this card holder um, and downsizing a whole bunch of things, I was just like, this is just like too, like too little of stuff to be able to carry. I don't go out to clubs. I don't go out partying. If I go out to dinner, I can. I have other purses that I can carry that are smaller um, and a little bit more compact. Most of my purses are now. I can always carry a never full. Like there was no need for me to... Um, to have that purse in my collection. So both they both went back. Um, this one was also kind of sad. The Burberry calfskin studded square satchel in black. When I say that this purse was like gorgeous, I don't even know how to put it into words. All the gold and silver studs, it looked like rocker chic, but not too edgy. It was like gorgeous. But a couple issues here. One, the strap felt really cheap. Didn't love that. Okay, no problem. I have a bunch of other straps that I can carry. Two, the way the, when you opened the top of it, it was actually like so stiff that it wouldn't stay open. It was gonna be really cumbersome to get in and out of. Didn't love that. Three, the, the latch, it had like a buckle like this, but let me use this as an example had a buckle like this, but it was like down here. So when you sat it down, it actually never would sit, but I actually think it went underneath the bag. So it would never just sit. It always would roll back or forward. I did not like that at all. And that was like my, probably my biggest problem with it. I just really didn't love that it would not sit right. And I knew that if I continued to try to make it work, um, I was just gonna be disappointed. So I ended up, I didn't even take the tags off that one. I had learned my lesson by then and I sent it back. The Burberry had some features that I really loved, but that didn't work as they sat. And so when I found this one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Didn't even know about the Diane. Um, so this was to me like an older version of the Diane. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But to me, it was like that. And I just think it's so cute. So I ended up getting that one, obviously kept it, took the tags off immediately, carried it on vacation right after I got it. It was the perfect purse. So at the Louis Vuitton Emprunt twice and the Dahlia and then the Chanel purses that I purchased, those were purses that I, um, I just knew, like I was just looking to purchase to purchase because I was trying to fill some void that I was feeling. Um, and that's a whole nother video, but I quickly realized when I opened them, that wasn't what I needed. That's not what I wanted. And I sent them back. So lessons to be learned here. If you open a, pur a purchase, especially a purse purchase, anything really, if you open it and you just don't get that immediate, like, yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. If you get that question, just don't take the tags off yet. Leave the tags on, let it sit for a minute, come back to it, look at it, see if maybe you were just having an off day, but in the end, like be okay with sending stuff back. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Were there any that were a shock to you? Did you think that there were gonna be any that were on the list, that weren't on the list, that weren't on the list? but should have been on the list. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your biggest regret of a purse purchase that you've had? Let me know in the comments down below. Talk to you later. Bye. <sighs> this is probably one of my absolute purchases. I really was... A toy? A toy? I will. Talk to you guys. There are no feet on it, so I know that. Just like the sun was moving.